Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue right triangle uh, ABC fully confined uh, in a quarter circle uh, with the center O as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this segment uh, OC is equal to this segment uh, CD. In other words, uh, this point C is uh, our midpoint and moreover the area of this uh, quarter circle uh, has been given to us as pi square units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, right uh, triangle uh, abc please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we can see that this uh, a O is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. Let me call this radius uh, lowercase r. Likewise, this uh, O D is going to be the radius r as well. And now let's go ahead and calculate the value of this uh, radius r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius. So therefore, the quarter circle area is going to be the one fourth of this one. So I can write this thing as uh, pi r square divided by 4. And we know the area of this uh, quarter circle uh, has been given to us as pi. So therefore I can equate them. I can write uh, pi r square divided by 4 equals to pi. Let's go ahead and multiply both uh, sides by 4 to remove this uh, fraction. And we can see this 4. 4 is gone, we got pi r square equals to 4 pi. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by pi. This is gone. So therefore, our r square value turns out to be 4. Let's go ahead and undo this square. I'm going to take the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, our radius r turns out to be 2. So therefore, our this radius r value turns out to be 2. And here, radius r is 2 as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that c is the midpoint. So therefore, uh, this uh, oc is going to be half of this radius. So this is going to be 1. And likewise, uh, cd is 1 as well. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box. So therefore, we are going to consider this uh, semicircle. And furthermore, I have extended uh, this uh, BC all the way to this point uh, E. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if A, B and E are the distinct points uh, on the circle where the angle uh, A, B, E is a right angle, then the line A, E is a diameter. And here we can see A, B and uh, E are our distinct point on this uh, semicircle. And moreover, this angle ABE is a 90 degree angle. So no wonder this uh, AE is going to be the diameter of this uh, semicircle according to this given uh, theorem. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AO is the radius of this uh, semicircle and uh, OE is uh, radius as well. So this is going to be two units as well. And furthermore, uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and uh, beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, some of these uh, two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. And now let's assume that this uh, angle is our angle alpha. Then in this uh, small right triangle, we know this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ABE. We know this angle is alpha. This angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this whole angle is going to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, big right triangle uh, ABE is similar to this uh, smaller right triangle uh, EOC according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of AB and uh, BE 
let me go ahead and write it down a b divided by b e is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, o c and uh, o e let me write, write down uh, o c divided by o e and now let's make an observation we can see our o c length is uh, one and our o e length uh, is uh, two as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, o c by one and o e by two over here and now we can see the ratio of a b and uh, b e equals to one divided by two so therefore i can write uh, this one as uh, i can write uh, a b equals to one times some constant uh, k and likewise uh, b e is going to be equal to two times some constant uh, k as well and now we are going to find the value of uh, this constant k so therefore this uh, a b length uh, is uh, one times k and this uh, b e length is uh, two times uh, k and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a b e whose uh, side lengths are uh, 1k two times k and this whole uh, a e length uh, is uh, 2 plus 2 is going to be 4 units and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 1k whole square, b is 2k whole square equal to c in our case is 4 whole square let's go ahead and simplify that is going to become 1k square plus 4k square equal to 16 let's combine the like term that's going to give us 5k square equal to 16 let's divide both sides by 5 so therefore our k square value turns out to be 16 divided by 5 let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore we can see that our k value turns out to be 4 divided by square root of uh, 5. And now since we figured out our k value as 4 divided by square root of 5, so therefore this a b length is going to be 1 times k means this is going to be 4 divided by square root of uh, 5. And likewise, this uh, B E value is going to be 2 times K means uh, 2 times 4 divided by square root of 5. That is going to give us uh, 8 divided by square root of 5. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this blue right triangle uh, A B C is going to be the area of uh, this uh, triangle uh, a b e the big triangle minus uh, the area of uh, this other triangle uh, a c e as you can see over here so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, a b e and the area of this other triangle a c e as well before we could calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big right triangle uh, a b e and now let's recall the area of a triangle of formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height in our case uh, our base is 8 divided by square root of 5 and our height is uh, 4 uh, divided by square root of 5 so therefore the area of this triangle a b e is going to be a half times uh, 8 uh, divided by square root of 5 times uh, 4 uh, divided by square root of 5 uh, as well and if we simplify everything on the right hand side this turns out to be 16 uh, divided by 5 and that could also be written as uh, 3.2 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle a b e turns out to be 3.2 square units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, other triangle uh, a c e and we are going to apply the very same uh, formula a half times base uh, times height in our case uh, our base is 4 and our height is 1 so therefore the area of this triangle ACE is going to be 1 divided by 2 times 4 times 1 and if we simplify everything this turns out to be 2 
and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, now and we already figured out uh, this uh, ABE triangle area which is uh, 3.2 and ACE area as uh, 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got uh, 3.2 minus uh, 2 that is going to give us uh, 1.2 so thus the area of this uh, blue triangle turns out to be 1.2 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.